Good morning and welcome to a beautiful, beautiful day here in Newburgh, New York. This morning we're going to look at the six bikes that I found in the garbage last night of all places. We got three in the back and if you think these three are cool, wait till you see the three that somebody threw away that are right here on the inside of the Camry. Take a peek. Let's get started with this red Peugeot. Yeah, I have to tie them to the bike rack so they don't fall off. It's all right though. I've never been exactly sure what to call this model of Peugeot. I always call it the Carbo Light 103, and I'll show you why. You can see right here, it's got a little decal that says Carbo Light 103. I guess that's the, uh, the tube set. But this is a pretty basic road bike, I guess. You know, it's got steel wheels and pretty ordinary parts. I like this Peugeot logo, which is probably from the early 80s. That's on the top tube right there. I've had quite a few of these bikes over the years, and they have a really classic look to them. Especially the front end with the grip tape that's kind of like this translucent, clear. I guess it's not exactly totally clear, it's more like a white. But it, it's, it's got like a pearlescent attitude to it. And then there's the ATAC stem. The brakes on these are sleek little Weinmans. And then they have the drilled Weinman brake levers, which are, I guess, easy for the fingers to grab. The shifters aren't anything special. Then you got Hure derailers. There's the one in the front. And there's the one in the rear. And there's your Peugeot seat tube lion. I think it's a lion. And your crank set, which is nothing special, but it works. And then your classic leotard pedals. Obviously this bike doesn't have a front wheel, but I got a guy who'll probably buy it from me for like 10 bucks. So that's good. Let's see what's next. But first, it's the first cold day we've had all winter. So I'm gonna put on my gloves and hat. Actually, I was only able to put on one glove because the other one was getting in the way of the camera functions, but one's better than none. So let's check out this BMX bike. I don't really know why someone would throw this in the garbage, but to me it looks like a classic case of the kid got his driver's license and then left the bike in the backyard for the next year. You be the judge. I don't know what brand this bike is. I'll look it up later, but it has some demonic overtones to the head tube decal and also on the seat tube decal back here. Spooky. And no, I don't think it's actually a spooky bike. I think there was a company called Spooky, and this isn't the, forget. It does have a stolen bike's crank set, so maybe the whole bike is a stolen. You know what, I'm gonna guess this is a stolen Sinner. I'll prove myself right or wrong, and then I'll uh, post it in the video. But whatever it is, it has a pretty cool Odyssey brake lever. That's a nice touch. And then it's got Miami handlebars. I've never been to Miami, but I think it's really nice, based on what I've heard. The seat is by Black Label, and they absolutely spared no expense on this thing, huh? Ugh. The front hub to me looks like it says NICE on it, N-I-S-E, or VICE. Oh my god, if this was 30 years ago, I would know what this hub is, but it's not 30 years ago. And at first glance, the front rim looks like it's just a cheap steel rim, but it's not. It's an Alex Y303, so that's pretty good. And in the back, you've got a Weinman DM30, so I guess the kid uh, traded wheels with his friend or broke his back wheel and got a new one. And check out the back hub, it's a black ops. It's a nice looking hub. So I solved the mystery, there's a chainstay decal that says Miraco Bike Company. Rest in peace, Dave Mira. And then in the back we got a Springfield U-brake. And the sprocket is just a little sprocket with a KMC Z-chain that's not quite as rusty as I thought. This bike is Kind of neglected, but it's actually a decent bike in okay condition, so I think I'm just going to leave it at the local skate park with a free sign on it, so some kid can uh, get some use out of it. Let's see what's next. So it has been a while since I found one of these, especially one in decent condition like this, but why can't I ever find a boy's one? And here's a little secret I learned for helping keep these old girls bikes on the bike rack, because they tend to find their own angle, so to speak. I just tie it on there, this time with a piece of electrical wire. Looks like our little pile of bikes is growing, and we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. With this Raleigh, I want to start with the Brooks saddle, which is leather, and it's what they call hard as a rock. I think I'll try and see if I can maybe uh, salvage that. If 
if I don't sell the bike first. And I was going to ling your burr for you, but it's just too rusty. Maybe I can salvage that too. So if we look at the back hub, it's dated 72-3, March 1972, which means I was a baby when this bike was born. I used to find these Raleigh three speeds all the time, and that was good because I was able to sell them pretty easily. Now, they don't sell too well, and I don't find them very often, so I guess that's a good thing. Now, even though this is a woman's bike, it is a tall bike, as evidenced by the tall head tube. So I think a man could ride this, or a tall woman. And from the top to the bottom, we have the ubiquitous Raleigh stem and the ubiquitous Raleigh headlamp bracket and the ubiquitous Raleigh head badge and the ubiquitous Raleigh front brake. That's a lot of ubiquity. The seat is a Brooks B72, and I suspect I know who's going to buy this bike just for the seat. Maybe not, though, because it is kind of cracked and uh, messed up. It's still a really nice saddle, though. I hope it can be saved. And then your classic, classic Raleigh block pedals that are really in good shape, just a little bit of surface rust. And the rally cap nuts on the cotter pins on the crank set. And the classic sprocket, with like little swans on it. Then you got your chain guard so you don't get grease on your trousers or your skirt. Not that there's any grease left on this chain. And these awesome Raleigh rims with this absolutely not so awesome rust and pitting. It's kind of unusual for these. That's really ugly. It's sad. And I have no idea how to set up a three-speed hub, but apparently it's not that difficult. And they thought of everything on these. Look, it's got like a little bracket for your pump. The bike probably came with a pump. And last but not least, the rear brake with the routing coming up from the bottom. And if you think that water gets into that cable and freezes up the cable so the brakes don't work, then uh, I would say you're absolutely right. They don't work at all. And one last thing that I've never seen on one of these bikes, the brake levers are marked R and F. Because in England, the brake levers are usually reversed, but this is sold in a shop in America, so they had to make sure that they got the R on the R and the F on the left. Let's see what's next. I ran out of room on the bike rack last night, so the other three bikes are in here. And all three of these were in one lady's garbage. Yes, her garbage, and yes, I talked to her, and she said, Oh, I'm so glad somebody's gonna use the bikes! That's usually how it goes when you find bikes in the garbage. Oh, and pro tip for all you would-be pickers who don't own a van or a truck, take the front seat out of your car. I took mine out the first day I got this car, and I could fit three bikes right here in the front. Take the seat out. You'll thank me. I guess we'll start with the least interesting bike, and even though it's the least interesting, it's still a pretty nice bike. And this thing has something I've never found in 20 years of looking for old bikes at garage sales and flea markets. And that is a cable lock that still has the key in it. They always have a cable lock. I usually have to cut through it with wire cutters. Not on this one. They were nice enough to leave the key. Isn't that great? So this is your typical burly looking off-road mountain bike. It's called a hardtail. No suspension in the back, suspension fork in the front. 26 inch wheels, which are apparently really passe. And this is called the Specialized Hard Rock. Look at all that aluminum. Wow, that is an impressive head tube junction, if I do say so myself. People always wanna know how many speeds these bikes have, so I guess it's got 24, even though that says eight. Because that says three, and three times eight is 24. Out back you have an Acera derailleur, and direct drive enhanced butted aluminum chain stays. And then a crank set that says specialized on it. This isn't a fat tire bike, but these are pretty fat tires. They're the Rockster 26 by 2.1. They have that really kind of bulbous look to them. And they don't have a really aggressive tread. So you can take this on the rail trail or on the not rail trail. And you got rims by Alex and a suspension fork by SR Suntour. Now over the years I've found like a million specialized in Trek mountain bikes, so they don't really excite me anymore, but this one's a really good looking bike and it's in great shape, so it should be a pretty easy flip, especially since I paid zero dollars for it. So if you're wondering which bike I think is the coolest, it's this one, hands down. This is a single speed mountain bike and it's purpose built as a single speed mountain bike. It's a little hard to tell from the subtle graphics, but this is a bike by a company called Bianchi. And it's called the D 
I S S, the dis. I don't know if I really like that. I don't like dissing people. So the dis is a rugged, gnarly looking bike that somebody obviously rode on a regular basis. And I'm guessing they rode it in the city and usually hung a bike lock around the seat tube here. And that's why the paint is all messed up. And look at this decal, or I don't know if it's stock or someone stuck it on. It says, cars are coffins, which apparently means I'm already dead. This decal says, campeón del mundo. Uh, what does that mean? Champion of something? Here you go. Eduardo Bianchi, Fabrica Italiana, which means made in Taiwan, I guess. This is a light bike. It's got hyper light handlebars. And as far as brakes go, Avid brakes and their disc brakes. I'll show you that in a second. Well, their disc brakes out here in the back, but in the front, it's just a V brake. I'll show you that. But at least it looks like a nice V brake. It's a Shimano XTR. And your front hub is a Shimano XTR, and your rim is a Mavic. And look at this flat tire. It's a Panaracer Fire XC Pro 2.1. Wow. And your rock shocks are by Judy. Or your Judy's by RockShox. I know the difference, I'm just kidding. Then you got your Zoom stem with custom zip tie fabricated light mount. And this bike was obviously owned by a tall individual. And I think that's the wrong size seat post because it doesn't really go in the frame that far. It's kind of really hard to jam it in. And this seat is really lightweight looking. They did not put a big dumb padded seat on this bike. Thank God. And now I've turned the bike around so that you can see it's made out of Easton ultra light taper wall tubing made in USA. And it is 100% chick designed. That's a pretty cool decal. Apparently a chicken designed this uh, this bike. What a world. For cranking, we have this Truvative Isis Drive Stylo crank set with a really little sprocket. And for clarification, we have a chain speed decal that labels this as a mono speed dirt bike. I guess mono speed means single speed. And out back here, we got this sun rim single track rim and chain tensioners and rear facing dropouts so you know this is a dedicated single speed bike not designed for derailers or gears and the rear hub is marked spot and that concludes the uh cool stuff on the back of the bike if i was actually going to ride these bikes this would probably be the one i would ride so maybe i'll do that maybe not but this is an unusual bike to find just out in the wild anywhere and it's even more unusual to find in the garbage so that was a nice score and let's get to the last and probably the best i have found a lot of road bikes in my years of going to garage sales and whatnot and usually it's like a rusty old fuji or a schwinn world sport or a ross euro tour it's not usually something like this this bike is by specialized and it's called that ale alez and it's got an aluminum frame but down here you can see the decal says it's a carbon fork. It's pretty cool. This bike has 700C wheels, but it's obviously a really small frame, so it was probably owned by uh, maybe a woman, maybe a child, maybe a really short guy. The seat doesn't make a lot of sense. It's a little bit bulky and padded for this kind of a race bike. It looks comfortable-ish. And up front we have brifters, which are brake lever shifters. But then there are also these little convenience levers, which make it a lot easier to ride the bike upright. And there's your Cane Creek headset and your big specialized head tube decal and your generic looking front brake. That thing looks like it'll stop on a dime and give you change though. The rims are Alex AS1 and the hub is pretty cool looking, but it doesn't have any markings on it. Still, I love the way the spokes are attached to the hub like that. And here's how small the frame is. 49.6 centimeters. It's like a junior frame. Out back, look at the curves on this bike, the way the chain stays come out. That is so cool looking. But it doesn't look like it gives you a lot of room for bigger tires, if that matters. And the back rim is different from the front. So either the back one has been replaced or the front one has. And the back one doesn't have a fun hub like the front one. That's really kind of a boring hub. Then your crank set is by Sugino, or Shugano as this kid Kevin that I used to know used to call it. And then finally we have Shimano Sora derailers on the front and also out here in the back. So there's the rather unusual and impressive collection of bikes that I got out of the garbage last night. I filled my whole bike rack and my front seat and that's a good night. But it's getting cold 
and it's getting windy. So from the town of Newburgh, New York, have a great day and thanks for watching.